It seems so absolutely hypocritical to start off like my video like I'm on a diet. Here's some chips. If I put this up a little bit, is that awkward? No, that's actually good. I can't fit the light where I I can't fit my actual lights where I am right now, so this is what you got. Alright, so I'm gonna get ready, put some makeup on my face, and give you guys a little bit of an update about how my weight loss is going. Don't be fooled just because I'm eating chips. It's actually going really, really good. So anyways, I'm just going to get started with my makeup. The first thing I always like to put on my face is the Tarte Ready Set Radiant Mist. Um, I use this as my primer every single day, especially in the winter. It really helps to hydrate my skin and make it not look so dry and flaky every morning. So I'm just going to start with a whole bunch of that. Ooh. I don't normally talk while I'm putting it on and hmm, that don't taste good. So I just kind of like pat it into my skin a little bit and let it set a little bit. I don't start putting the foundations on immediately. And this is going to be like really lazy, quick, everyday makeup look. Not going in. I literally moved just a couple products from over at my vanity to over here. So I can just get ready really quick while we have a little chat. <clears throat> so... At this point, I have lost about six pounds, which it's been a little over a month. So I feel like that's pretty good success. Um, and I feel like I have really actually settled in these past two weeks to it being really a lot easier for me to follow my whole, I guess, like routine eating a lot healthier, eating a lot less carbs. Um, it was, str I was really struggling for a little bit, but these past two weeks, I feel like it's just, it's been good. Um, I will still have like, you know, snacks occasionally, like, you know, chips. I'm, I'm a chip addict. It's, when I say that, I do not, I'm not joking. Um, so I will still have snacks like that. I feel like it's really important not to deprive myself of those kinds of things. But it's just making sure that, you know, I make a bag of chips last five, six days instead of eating it all at once. So next I'm going to use the Maybelline Dream Pure BB. And I'm literally just going to apply a really light bit of this with my fingers. Because like I said... I'm just doing a really quick and easy everyday kind of thing today. I'm not going anywhere, most likely. I might possibly go to the grocery store later, but... I love the way that, like, foundations look when you apply them with your hands, but then... I really just like the result of getting it all over your hands. There's just something about the way that it like melts into your skin when you use your hands instead of like a brush or a sponge. My beauty room here, this is like my room in the house where I keep all of my makeup. I keep all of my um clothes. So it's, it's really like my room for stuff. And it's a disaster. I have <clears throat> too much stuff, not enough room. And I have so much trouble keeping it organized in here. Okay. kind of following like a low carb ish diet but not really not like anything strict I'm not really counting carbs mostly I'm just really focusing on portion control you know eating smaller portions trying to avoid um carbs just because I feel like in general carbs have been carbs are a lot of calories and they don't fill you up so I just kind of eliminate them from most of my plates 
and replace them with like more nutrient dense calorie light food I guess is what you call it so like um for example last night I had a burger and uh let me start putting stuff on I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me concealer which is pretty much my favorite concealer of all time I think honestly I only use Maybelline concealers I'm always really tempted to try like an expensive drug store concealer did I just say expensive drugstore concealer? Wow. I'm always really tempted to get like an expensive Sephora concealer. High end something. Because like people speak so highly of them. But I'm like this concealer is good. So why? Why would I spend the money? Okay. Let me get back to the food conversation. Alright. So anyways. An example of like what I'll eat is like last night. We made burgers. And... You know, normally you would eat, like, your burger on a bun. And so I just didn't have the bun. And I had literally all the same stuff on my plate that you would normally have with your burger. Um, so for me, I mean, I made, like, a huge bunch of, uh, like, sautéed mushrooms and onions. And I put mustard and I put barbecue sauce. And some spinach. So I put all the things that I would like to have on a burger. And just put it on the plate. And I added more mushrooms than you would actually even like be able to fit on an actual burger on the plate. And that kind of helps also be more filling since you're not having that bun. And it's honestly like way less calories and also more healthy because what nutrients are really in a bun? Let's be real. Why didn't I grab any powder? God damn it. Here I was, I was like, oh, I grabbed everything I need. And now I'm like, I didn't grab anything I need. It's kind of a light powder in here. Maybe I could use this. I'm, I'm doing something really risky here. I'm going to take this uh, brush that I've got for my highlighter. I'm going to use this eyeshadow from this palette. And I'm just going to set, kind of, underneath my eyes. Just because I literally don't want to get up. That worked actually. That was good enough. Hmm. That's a new trick. But yeah, so I mean, it was super filling. Also, like, I don't know what it is, but something about like eating, sitting there eating with a knife and fork, like, you kind of eat it a little bit slower. And somewhere I've read, I don't know if this is really true. Maybe it's just psychological, though. Somewhere I've read that, like... Well, duh, it's psychological. Oh, my God. I'm so dumb. Eating with a knife... Eating... My halo's falling down. Eating with a knife and fork is... Like, tricks your brain into thinking it's getting more... F I don't know what the actual science behind it is or something, but it's supposed to be, like, helpful for dieting or something. I don't know. So... Yeah, I'll just take every meal, I'll take the carb away, and I'll add more greens or fruits in place of the carb. And it's going really well. I don't feel like I'm starving. And then I'll still snack on, like, chips or cookies. I'll just eat a lot less of them when I do. I won't eat the whole bag. I'll eat a fifth of the bag. We did just get Girl Scout cookies, though, the other day. And it's killing me to not eat those. Killing me. Like, I had two of the Samoas the other day, because that's my favorite. 
because apparently that's a serving size is too. And that's like 150 calories or something. Which I, I knew, I guess. I was just in serious denial all these years. I think I need a new one of these because I feel like I'm not getting any product out. I don't think I can get this at Ulta or anything. I think I have to order it from the, like, company site, which is mildly frustrating. Oh, well. I don't know if I'll order one of those today. Alright. Uh. Oh, so there's literally, like, a flu em epidemic. There's literally like a flu epidemic happening at my job. Everyone is getting the flu. It's disgusting. It's, oh man, I got sick twice in like the past month. <sighs> and what I heard, I guess, is that you can keep getting it. You don't necessarily just get it once and then you're like immune. So now I'm like, I really don't want to get it again, but my daughter was just sick. So We'll see. I'm going to take this color Hide and Seek from, this is the pretty vulgar Nightingale. Nightingale? Yeah, Nightingale palette. This is my absolute favorite everyday palette because it's a bunch of cool tones. I really prefer cool tones to warm tones for my makeup. And so hard to find a good neutrals cool tone palette, but this is, this is it, honestly. If you want a good everyday cool tone, neutral palette, pick this up. Highly recommend. So I'm just going to use that hide and seek shade in the crease. And like I said, I'm just doing something quick. So I'm really going to try to stick to that. So many times I'm like, oh, I'm just doing something quick. And then, but I think like, because I just brought this over here, I literally just brought this brush. So I can't go overboard. I protected myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take Break Free and I'm just going to use my fingers to apply it on my lid. It's so pretty and icy. So it's been really crazy with like everyone getting sick. You know, it's made for a lot of work needing to be covered and then get caught up and you know, things like that. So that's been kind of part of the reason why it's been hard for me to do things outside of like my regular job, like YouTube. And on top of that, you know, sometimes I'm just fucking lazy. That's just a fact. And lastly, I'm just going to take this uh, shade down here, which is called Swoop, and I'm just going to put a little tiny bit of that on the outer corner, just so that it's not entirely one shade. So I'm just going to try to tap the brush off a little bit in order before I blend it out. I don't know, I still feel like this turned out way darker than I intended. See? Like... I should have brought more stuff over here, but I'm fucking... I'm not into it today. I'm just gonna rub a little bit of the darker color underneath, too. Oh, you know what I forgot to grab? I forgot to grab mascara. Oops. I'll put that on later. So I tried filming a vlog, was it last week? 
or the week before. Um, I got some footage, but then, like, I got sick halfway through the week, and so, I don't know. It didn't really turn out very good, in my opinion. So, I don't think that I'm going to put any of it up. I'm not really entirely sure how to vlog well. <laughs> because my life is boring, though. Like, I work my regular job so much. The rest of the time in my life is literally the most boring thing you have ever seen. So then, like, I'll film myself making some food or hanging out with the kids. But even that, like, my kids are boring. I'm like, hey, guys, you know, trying to spend time with them. And they're like rolling their eyes at me like, hey, we're trying to play video games. Leave us alone. Um, and so, yeah, I go to work. I come home. I do laundry and I cook dinner like I'm so much the domestic housewife these days it's kind of disgusting and then on top of that it's fucking winter here like winter we get winter it's not like oh cute snow let's go out it's like hibernate don't go out you might die winter here so even when it comes to something as simple as going to the grocery store, you, like, put that shit off to the last goddamn minute and then cry about it the whole time you're going. That's the kind of life I have to live all winter. When summer comes, like, heck, we're probably going to be doing great stuff all the time. And I'll be like, oh, yeah, we can vlog. But right now it's like, what am I supposed to film? I feel like I can't film makeup videos really all that well right now because this room is a goddamn disaster. I don't have time to fix it because of that shit I was just talking about with work, come home, do laundry, cook some stuff, repeat. So I just feel like I'm stuck in this like whole situation where it's like, I really want to sit down, talk about like my weight loss and what's going on with that, but I want to make it interesting and I just don't know how to do that right now. I mean, I feel like this kind of video, like, what I'm doing right now is the max of what I can deliver. And maybe that'll be good enough, but if not, like, oh, oh well. I love how at the beginning of this video I was, like, describing my products and now I'm like, fuck, don't care. I was going to use this Revlon lipstick, but now I'm feeling my lips and I'm like, my lips are so chapped and dry because winter that I just don't think that it's a good idea. Maybe I'll just like dot a little bit on there. <sighs> I need an actual mirror. Yeah, I pretty much ended up putting it on in full anyway. Mascara. I'm trying so hard not to put myself in the eye or fuck up anything. So that's that for the makeup. I've been filming for like 30 minutes. Which like that's not bad. That's quick. Um, so I don't really know what else to say. Um, I do really want to keep filming and making videos. Like I said, I just don't really know what to do at this point. I, my life is so not together. So not together. That it's really hard for me to organize time to make videos. And maybe this is what I want, is to be able to just sit down, talk to you guys about what's going on, 
which right now isn't really that much. I mean, like, I lost six pounds and there's a flu epidemic happening at my job. I mean, I joke when I say epidemic, but, you know. And maybe I'll just do this once a week. Who knows? Maybe nobody will care about that. But, yeah, I definitely want to keep you guys updated on my whole weight loss journey. It's really important to me um, to kind of put that out there in the public. I don't just want to, like, disappear and then come back in a year, 60 pounds later, and be like, oh, hi, nothing to see here. I'm just skinny again. I just want to talk about that and, uh, like, let people know my journey there. So, yeah, I'm sure it's not going to be smooth sailing the whole time. Like, it already hasn't been. Like, I had one week, my kids were on winter break, where... I'm not kidding you, we ate out for every single meal, and I gained back every single pound. Like, I'd already lost, like, four pounds at the time. And we ate out for every single meal that whole week. We ordered pizza. We went to Sonic. We um, had Chinese. All the meals ordered out. I don't know, like, I knew I was supposed to be on a diet, but it's like my brain was just like, well, you know kids are home from school routine is screwed up so why not and yeah I, I gained back all the four pounds that I had already lost and so then like after that I got back into the diet and I would have like an on day and then an off day and an on day and then an off day so I mean when you're balancing out one on day with one off day you're not really losing any weight and then, yeah, I don't know, just, like, two weeks ago, something just, like, I went to the grocery store. So I just learned that apparently my camera uh, will stop recording at half an hour. So now I know that. Um, good thing that I was looking at it when it happened, because it would have sucked if I was, like, doing something and not looking at it, and it just stopped, and then I kept going. Um, but, yeah, so that's a good thing for me to know. Anyways, so where was I? Oh, yeah, I was talking about, so... <laughs> so yeah, two weeks ago, I went to the grocery store. I got all this healthy, healthy, I got all this healthy food and it was just like this turning point where I just, something mentally inside me, I was just like so tired of being at the weight that I'm at. Like I was just remembering being thinner <laughs> and just how many things were easier and more enjoyable. Like shopping, for example. I mean, obviously that's so cliche, but I think anyone who has more weight on them can understand how shopping can be so frustrating. And not that you can't get good clothes when you're bigger, because you can. It's just, it's harder to find them and harder to shop in general. Like, you have to try things on more. Um, when I am thinner, I literally don't have to try anything on. Because that's just how clothing is made. Like, clothing is made to fall perfectly on a thin body, which sucks. But it is what it is. Um, and maybe also part of that is because, like, everybody gains weight in a different way. So... Some people gain weight in their hips. Some, Yes. So, like, some people gain weight in their hips. Some people gain weight in their bellies. You know, people gain weight in all different parts of their bodies. So, it's kind of hard to predict where you need to cut up clothing to fit different kinds of weight, depending on where it is in your body. So, I, I guess that kind of makes sense. Like, you just can't make an, a larger piece of clothing for that's going to fit every different kind of where your weight is, is going on. So you have to try them on. They're all made differently. And then when I was thinner, like I could go into a store and look at a shirt and be like, okay, is it a small? Is it a medium? Yeah, it's going to look fine. It doesn't, it literally would not matter. I could just grab it. And I wouldn't have to try it on. It would fit. I knew. <laughs> Life was just that much easier. And 
and then on top of that, I feel like I looked in mirrors so much less because I feel like, like there was just so much more confidence. Like, just so much more confidence. And it would be nice, maybe, to be able to be confident at a higher weight, but it's just not, it's just not, so. I don't know. I'm going to stop ranting. I, I'm going to stop. My makeup's done. I need to go do things. Uh, I'm going to get this up this weekend. I'm going to try to get back on a schedule of doing this once a week because, I mean, if I do just do a video where I sit down and talk to the camera instead of having it have to be like, oh, a vlog or, oh, this setup or, oh, if it's, if we just sit down and talk, it's not that hard to sit down on Saturday, talk to the camera and get the video up by Sunday night. I think I can manage that. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of these things. If you don't, I understand. It's kind of boring. No hard feelings. Also go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I'll put the handle in the description and maybe on the screen if I can figure out how to do that in editing. I'm still trying to figure out all my new programs, so I apologize. But yeah, follow me on Instagram as well. I update there sometimes more than a year. I am really trying to be more consistent. I am so sorry. All right. I love you guys so much. Um, bye.